विद्या नवृत्ति ममैव गति स्वम गति स्वम तमे See, when we say people, uh, people are living in different types of conditions, large mass of people are living in rural India. For them, the best thing is minimum ten percent of their land, they must make it into trees, that's a must. Without that, they can't save their soil. Without keeping the soil rich, you can't preserve water. As you yourself have uh, done in your presentations, the greatest reservoir on the planet is soil. When we say soil, it is only that uh, thirty-nine inches of topsoil which is very, very important for us. Down below also there is water, but this is the most important. If we want to keep the biodiversity of the soil and everything rich, entire life process from worms to insects to human beings, we all are surviving because of this topsoil. So, uh, that is a prescription for the rural masses that at least ten percent of their land must become trees, but for the urban people. Uh, see, there are many issues of plastics, this, that, I feel with small policy changes, those things can be fixed, I don't see that as a major challenge. The important thing is lack of awareness about what needs to be done in the country or in the world, or what are our real challenges. So in terms of, uh, for example, many people are running campaigns about water, water has become an important issue, only because the shortages came to the city. But the shortage has been there in the village forever. With one tap, thousand people are trying to catch water from one tap and the ugliness that happens, the social situations that happen there. So, the most important thing is that we need to see how what we consume is minimized and what we waste is also minimized or how recycling things can happen. So this, what can each individual do? See, if each individual acts, well, it is a good act as an awareness, but what is needed is a systemic act. Right now, in India, the way the cities have grown over a period of time, it is… Uh, it has just grown with time, haphazardly most of the time. A few parts may be planned, rest of it has grown over centuries, so it is not really planned. So one important thing is, Every citizen in the country, particularly urban citizens, must be willing to pay for their waste. That the waste that is going out, the sewage that you let out, that needs to be treated. But right now, the problem is of resources and things like that. So everybody should become willing that what I throw is also my responsibility. You're paying for electricity, maybe you're paying for water, most towns they're not paying for water, but nobody is paying for the sewage that they let out into the uh, into the, you know, the city municipality or whatever, whatever. There has to be a price for that. Responsible citizens must understand that ecology is not a tomorrow's problem, it's to today's problem. It is not next generation which is going to suffer, it is you and me who is going to suffer. We are already suffering in many ways. Right now you see this pandemic itself, how it is panning out. It is only in cities, one thing is the density of the population, but I feel it is also the immunity systems in the city is not at the same level as it is in the villages. Because so many migrants have gone from the villages, they are not so sick, but people who are li living in the cities are sick simply because their immune systems are also lower. There is substantial scientific evidence to show that if you live in a polluted place, your immune, immune system will be lower than what it should be if you were in nature. So, c considering all this, Whatever we are throwing out in the form of sewage, in the form of waste, whether it's plastic waste, organic waste, or even pollution, let's say we… St everybody must count how many hours in a month am I starting my car, so what is it that is going out, what is the price for that? If we think like this and become a conscious society, then solutions are many, because there's no one magic wand solution. There, for every aspect, there is a different solution. But the fundamental thing is, those who can afford, the urban population I consider can afford, they must become first conscious and they must understand for every little thing, a piece of paper that you throw outside, you rev your car or motorcycle, for everything there is a price, ecological price. If they understand that and become conscious, I think that is the greatest thing they can.